yo, yo, another day, another ad. Damn, chill with your homeboy Jermaine getting this vlog started off. <sighs> Alright, yeah, um, man. Working on skateboards. Just got a new skateboard sent to me, which is pretty cool because I just got another skateboard that ran over a couple days ago. Another, another skateboard crunched in, cra in traffic. Um, let's open this one. Go. I'm gonna unbox it. And then this one. Ooh, there we have it. There we have it. This is a beautiful one. Got some pamphlets. Have the remote. It comes with a skate tool. Charger, of course. Some armbands. I'll probably rock that for sure. Screws. The rest of the charger. This charger is smaller and it's a lot lighter than a boosted charger. Uh, some tools. This is the rest of the owner's menu. Okay, so let's just wiggle this, wiggle this bad boy down. I can show you guys how to take this out easier. You just slide one side out and then pull this side out. Ooh, look at that. Wow, look at that, yo. It looks beautiful from the back. It looks beautiful from the back. <sighs> All right, I got skateboards everywhere. Okay, let's check this out. Look at this. This is, um, it's got some beautiful wheels on it. Yeah, very, very nice wheels. I like these belts. These are the same belts that Boosted use, by the way. This is just what this board looks like. There's the controller board there. The controller box there. We got the battery. Got a decent sized battery on there. We got the motors here back there. Some good looking motors. These are the the back of the board here. A little close up. It's very very similar to um, other electric skateboards I've seen. I really really like the setup here. It's really really clean back here. Gosh, guys, it is one hot day today. I am out on the Inway Flex. And this is a pretty cool board, y'all. So I just figured out how to get to the fast mode, the four mode. Let's see what this is like. Thirty-two miles an hour. I don't know. I think that's got to be kilometers. Yeah, that's that's got to be kilometers.
Okay. Cool beans, yo. The X-Way is a lot of fun to ride. Um, there's a couple things I have to catch you up on. So I looked through the app. They have a really cool app you can download. And the app gives you a lot of different options. So one thing I noticed about this board when I first got on it is when you have the controller in your hand, first off, the controller feels great in your hand too. Uh, I, I, I'm digging the controller. It also has some data on it. It tells you miles per hour, or it says in kilometers, and it also says the mode that I'm riding in. Don't exactly know what these other two numbers are. I see 84% and 85%. I'll figure it out soon. So now let's check out this app. Let's go over to this the, the X-Way app here. Oh wow. Easy there, easy there. So easy, here you wanna just connect the board. So I'm gonna connect my board here. It's pretty simple to connect. Gosh, I charged my phone there. And it gives you the data about the board. I'm at 84% battery. Um, I have the battery's at uh, 30 Celsius, so the battery's good. Um, let's check out the skateboard. Now, earlier I was on safe mode, and on safe mode you can't go above two. So I got, I took it off safe mode, and now I can go a little bit faster. I'm gonna have to figure out how to put this in miles per hour because I am in, I am in the U.S., so I don't need kilometers. There is so much. Um, there's so much like data here. I'm gonna have to like go through this and figure this out. Like I say, I, like I just started riding on this. I think this is like the brake curve. So like if you're in a low gear, you can have the braking power even stronger. Um, one problem on boosted boards, if you're in a low gear, if you're in a low gear, you, you, your braking is like, it, it's just as fast as your acceleration. And on this board, it looks like you can change that, which is, pretty awesome because you could be in a very very slow mode because you, you don't want to go fast because maybe you want to you know use more range and then now also you can stop in the event of you know you need to come to a stop really fast I'm just gonna go through um, another mode that's very important is the free mode so as of now the board um, if I well the, the board's not connected the remotes not connected to the board because I'm talking to the app I don't think you can talk to the app and ride the board at the same time. I don't think you can do all three if I'm not mistaken, but it's not letting me do it here. Um, but with the whole free mode, the free mode is on a normal mode with, with this board, whenever you're in reverse, you're in reverse. When you go like backwards, you're, sl you're slowing down the board. So the backwards is like brake and forward. They have a free mode option where you can um, make, you know, one way is forward and the other way is reverse. So I'm really digging that because that's kind of like, that's what Boosted has and I'm, I'm very, very used to that whole, you know, I can go forward, I can go back because I like the fact that if I'm skating and I pull up to a, a light, I can stop. But then what if I need to roll back just a little bit because there's pedestrians walking out, you know, I can easily like just roll back with, you know, with the whole roll back method. And with this board, it allows me to do the same thing. So let's update it here. So we're gonna do the free mode. Also, when I, when I first got it, it was stuck on the safe mode. I had to like turn it off safe mode. Whenever you change any of these, you wanna hit save changes and exit. And it's gonna send the information to the skateboard. And here, I'm ready to ride. So now let's test it out. So this is forward. This is reverse. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. This is like everything. Like, I love this whole mo motion of like forward and reverse. That's so sick, yo. It's so sick. I really like the trucks on this board. Look at these trucks. Like they, um, Inway custom built these trucks themselves. So that's pretty cool. The deck's really comfortable to ride. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I gotta get I gotta get the hang of it because it is a different deck to ride just because of, um, it's just a different deck to ride. Um, you know, this kind of reminds me of my cool wheel deck that I used to have, but like, I just, yeah, this is not the ideal place to skateboard either, not up here. But uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty fun skateboard to ride. Yeah, I'm, uh, I got 84% battery left, and I'm gonna keep cruising until I'm, I'm out of battery. But yeah, I like it, I'm, I'm digging it so far. Yeah, let's, let's keep cruising. And yes, these 85 millimeter wheels make everything smooth. Yes, 
I can do this. And this. Oh. Wow, this traffic is insane. Let's go see how the skateboard do on hills. I mean, it does great in traffic. But uh, we gotta go do some hill tests. Let's go over here to the East Cut. Got some hills. All right, hill test. Oh wow, we cruising, yo. This is not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad at all. <laughs> I thought that was your dog for a minute. No, I was like, yeah, our dog. <laughs> <laughs> Make time go by, brother. Make time go by. You know how I go. I don't know. The hill test is pretty good. Let's go test. Let's go down some of these hills. I mean, it's some crazy traffic today. Today's really hot day in the city. I don't know what's going on, but I'm, I'm loving this action here.
now, so going down these hills, you know, it feels really good. Like I don't feel like I'm about to fall over. I'm getting used to the braking. The braking, um, there's like a little curve when it comes to the braking. You have to like brake like properly right when you first put your finger on the brake. You don't really feel it, and then and then you you start to feel it break a lot, and then you almost want to let go like off your finger because you don't want to break too much. 